Hello guys, welcome to Linux Chai channel and today's topic about analyzing and storing the log files. So first of all, we are going to see what are the log files. In Windows operating system, we observe the log files that are generated by the operating system. The same log files you can observe here in Linux and Linux related distributions like uh, we have so many distributions. Presently, we are discussing about CentOS 7. So, CentOS 7 have a log file information. So, log files contains all the uh, log log files contains all the services related information like messages, mail log information, and printer information, and uh, kernel related information. Everything will be created in log files. So, now we are going to observe those. So first of all, in CentOS, where they store the log files, there is one particular directory for that, that is slash where slash lab. So in the directory, it will store all the log files. Next one. See, actually I am currently using only command line interface. You can observe here, this is my username and this is my host name. So, first, there is one configuration file that is slash etc slash rsyslog.conf. In that configuration file, you will find all the log files locations and it manages all the log files locations. So, have a look. cat slash etc slash rsyslog.conf dot c o n f the center so i'm going to the first line from first line to okay, here i'll show the locations here okay you will see here right slash where slash log message it's showing log anything except mail of level info or higher don't log private authentication messages so it will log it will create the all mail all message related logs except that mail and privilege authentication message so what are the privilege authentication messages where it will store we have one separate uh, directory for that you can observe here the authorization privilege file has restricted access and these authentication privileges related files will be generated in this slash where slash 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 secure so and there is a mail log also all mail related log will be stored in this slash where slash log mail log and we have cron separate there is a separate directory for that cron jobs so cron related information that means cron related log will be generated and it will be stored in this particular directory you can observe this so this is a directory this directory contains mails and this is authorization privileges log and this is all the messages except that cron and mail mail log and this is polar you can observe here save new servers of level critical and higher in a special file and boot also there is a boot log so uh, boot log will be generated and it will be stored in here slash where slash log slash boot log so this is a configuration file and it manages all the log files and where it should be stored. So this is all about the configuration file. Now we are going to the directory that is cd slash where slash log press enter press ls to see the, all the log files which are generated here. Here first we will see the boot dot log and this boot dot log means the booting a uh, booting operating system the process of the booting operating system will be created one lag and it will be stored here so uh, this is all about boot and next one is for cron you can observe here cron so cron related information the log will be generated and it will be stored here you can see cron and this is 2018 means 2018 means that is a year of and uh, 12 means that is the month and 6 means that is the date so he, in 2019 the latest cron log will generated and 
15th march you can observe here 15 is the date and third is the month and 2019 is the year so in this way it will be created the log files with the with this time star right next uh cups these are cups means these this directory contains printer spooler information so go to cup cd ps cups ls so these are the access log information that means printer spooler information it is it will be created the logs here like access underscore log and these are the files with the timestamp the date with the date and year and the month next d message you can observe here d message here this log is particular for kernel related information it will it will store all the kernel related information here and this firewall d also this is all stored with uh, i mean this log will be for firewall information it will store all firewall information and last log this uh, log file contains failed login information in that but actually it's a binary file we can't see the content here right and next mail log also mail all mail related log files will be generated here and with the date stamp you can observe here 2018 so messages except mail and cron jobs all other messages uh, related logs will be generated here so with the date stamp you can observe here 2019 2007 and 2019030305 sorry 0350 that is march 15th the last log file which is related to message created yesterday only next samba sa this sa is related for system activity and this samba is for like uh, this directory contains the files between shared from samba users to windows the, the total log will be generated here so when they shared those when they shared the folders from samba users to windows user you can find the log here and the secure is for authentication privileges log file you can observe here and that's it i think so m dot log yeah here you can observe m dot log m dot log is for this log file contains all installed and updated packages so these are some log files you can observe here and uh, these are log files but uh, if we want to see the log file information the content of the log files information how to see that so we have three commands that is less and more and the last one is tail so for example i want to see the kernel related information that is it has d, d message so this is the log file and i want to see the log file content that kernel related log file content how to see that so i can simply use this command tail d n e s g cannot open it for reading no such well directory okay D message okay let it be take another another log file that is tail tail cron oh sorry actually we are in the wrong directory sorry cd slash var slash log and press ls so these are the log files which are generated actually previously i entered into this cups directory there is no files related cron and dms is something like that so that's the reason it doesn't show now control l clear the screen now you can see tail dmesg so tail command will give the last 10 lines of the particular log files so these is all for kernel related information we can observe the lines 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so these are the 10 lines and next i want to see the 
cron related log file so you can simply type tile cron so these are the last 10 lines which are generated in that log file so you can observe here march 16 march 16th today generated log file today's generated log file you can observe here or else after we can use a less command also less cron so you can simply press enter to see all the log files which are related to cron so this is the end of the file so after press you can press enter to to get the end of the file or else you can simply type up and down arrow keys to see the full log file information so i'm simply clicking up and down arrow so if you want to quit that log file with a less command you just simply type q here just press q that's it you can come out from that cron job in mean, cron job related file ls and next next is for we can have a look for uh, next file what i'm going to see here mail log we have mail log also we can simply use more command here more i'm using different different commands to see the content of the log file so more mail log log so this is the mail log information you can observe here march 15th it was uh, created log for three lines and march 16th it created log log it created the log for two lines you can observe here post fix post fix is the mail server and starting the post fix mail system and this is the configuration it was showing daemon started and version is something configuration slash etc slash post fix etc like that so the with the we have we have the date stamp also so let's check yesterday also it created one log uh, what related about mail so see what it contains control shift to see to copy that particular line and see more mail log control shift to to paste that. so this is the log which is generated these log is related to mail and uh, next in this way we can see all the log files with using some with using less and more and tail command so this is all about log file and uh, which are log files location as well as how to see the content of the log file and next uh, we have one configuration file that is uh, related to rotation of the log file generation so let's go and check it out cd press enter that is cat slash etc slash log rotate dot con in this configuration we will find the rotation of the log files so how many weeks worth of backlogs will be stored here so you can see key four weeks worth of backlogs will be stored or else you can also change with using any editor so i can simply rotate four instead of rotate four i can simply edit with five six or seven so six weeks of backlogs will be stored in that directory that means slash or slash log directory and create a new log files after rotating old ones so after rotating the old ones it will create one new log on and the date suffix you can use date as a suffix of the rotated file so you can observe here so log rotate so how many weeks should be created the backlogs and how many uh, logs will be generated and that will be stored and rotation of the log files so what are the suffix would be attached to that particular files you can observe here 
and uncomment this if you want your log files compressed if you want to log files you will be compressed you can just uncomment this line it will be compress the log file rpm package drop log rotation information into this directory rpm package means packages uh, which sent over 7 red hat uh, have the dot rpm packages and that is also it will create one log file and that includes slash etc slash log rotated dot d so this is the log rotation configuration file so in this way you can edit the log rotation so how many weeks uh, and what are the suffix would be attached to that log rotation files so if you want to any further information you can simply go to man log rotate it will give the full information about log rotation so this is all about the log files which are available in CentOS 7 operating system and what are the uses of these log rotations and where it will be stored and what kind of information it will be stored just now i explained you i hope you understand this video and if you have any doubts any doubts please do mention in the comments and don't forget to subscribe my channel please share this video as many people as you can who are, who are interested to learn CentOS and click on that bell icon to get my latest videos notification to your YouTube. Thank you guys. This is Linux Joy signing off. Have a nice day.